anything above five and up is seven bucks. They do not have any student discounts or any senior discounts. Everything is seven bucks. In my search for the brass teapot, the only information I had for my efforts so far was that everything was seven bucks. Arriving in Los Angeles during the Christmas holidays, I wasn't sure if I had, in fact, returned to my original plan of traveling to China for my meeting with Dr. Ling. At this time of year, L.A. had the industrial gray look of the People's Republic. Far away from my drop-off point at Union Station and out in West L.A., Donna, the spiritualist, was in the middle of a session. Those attending found peace of mind, freeing themselves of stressful thoughts. I had plenty of my own, and hoped that I too could get some help. I had no problems, in that my mind was clear. It's been said, and there's been solid documentation, that the brass teapot is actually a real item that does have magical powers. So I feel like I'm getting a little bit closer with this step, even though it's a detour from what my original plans were, but I'm here to see what I can find out. Uh, currently going on inside this apartment building, we're in West LA right now. There is a meeting uh, taking place with a spiritualist um, and a group of, of her uh, followers, attendees, and they are uh, right now in session and once they are finished, I intend to have a few words with her to ask her some personal questions of my own relating to this particular documentary film and how she can help with what I am trying to accomplish, and that is to find out where the brass teapot is. So, During my research, I'd heard about this spiritualist who held a weekly group meeting on the mystical powers of the brass teapot. People came from all over the world to speak with her. This was a woman who had dedicated her life lecturing about the spiritual and divine nature of the brass teapot. I attended the group meeting just as they were finishing, which gave me time to sit down and speak privately with Donna. She was one of many who believed the brass teapot is, in fact, the Holy Grail. I asked her many questions about the teapot's origins and what made her believe that the Holy Grail and the teapot were one and the same. Although my interview with Donna answered many questions, it created many more. The search continues. Next, I am off to China, where I'll be interviewing Dr. Ling at the Theosophist Society. Every day brings me closer to what I hope will be the truth.